Hi, this is Nathan from NetworkSave.us and I'm going to show you how to get on Facebook on a Blackberry on Cricut. I'm going to start doing the regular deal here where I show that we're on Cricut. Welcome to Cricut. For English, please stay on the line. For Cricut Wireless phone, sir. Alright, anyway. So we're out of there. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start. The application that I'm going to show you right now to look at use, or to get on Facebook is called Snap2. And it's, it's an application from Europe somewhere. I think it's, I think it's from England maybe, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to start it up and right off the bat, once it connects, the first icon you see there will be for Facebook. And Snap2 is sort of like a portal, an application portal where um, you can see all the little icons here. We've got Facebook, Twitter, um, news and blogs, weather forecasts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can, you can read, you can see what I'm typing or what's here. Uh, Flickr, Trivia, TechCrunch, Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku. Uh, dictionaries, blah blah blah, all kinds of stuff here, and you can add a lot more by going down to, to the plus icon down there. Where is it? Right there. Add remove apps. I'm going to go up here and first start with Facebook. I'm already somehow three minutes into this video. I've shown you nothing. Um, Alright, so I am on my page. I'm on my uh, Facebook page. So I can go to my face, go to my uh, inbook there the top and uh, there's my inbox I can click on any of these and reply Let's see I'm gonna click on reply let me go back out here Anyway, so that's the inbox. I'm going to go to notifications. You can see all of the notifications here. People have sent uh, messages and I can look at them. I can reply to them just like on Facebook on a computer. If I click on anybody that sent me a message, then I can also look at their page. Kyle Butler. Let's see. Click on that one. It should bring up his. I can look at his profile. Okay, uh, let's see if I can view his uh, photos. No, I guess he doesn't have any up or none that I can access right now. Oh well, he's got a, he has albums. Let me go to uh, wall photos. He has one, and it's highlighted, so I'll click it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I just clicked on the picture there and I guess I'm going to get to send in a comment about it. Alright. Click it again and I'm going to click done and go down to comment. And there's my comment. Go back here. Go back out. Go back out. Out. And I can continue back out until I'm back to where I was. Uh, they're really free with people's information on Facebook. Everybody's birth names every or birth dates everywhere. It's crazy. Um, certainly not going to put on mine right now. But um, I will show lots of other people's. Let's see. Uh, you can click the, at any point you can click the, what's that? No. Anyway, uh, at any point you can hit the option or berries button and then you can go to your friends. I haven't figured out a way to delete people on here. That was the first thing that I wanted to do was show people how to delete people, but I don't know how to do it on here. I want to pick someone at random and see if I can delete her. 
Uh, I can't delete her. It doesn't look like. I'm gonna just scream at my neighbors here for a minute. All right. Uh, so yeah, let me see if I can look at her pictures and. Um, Let's just pick something random. I just want to show that it works. And it works. Uh, there are one of, or two of 45. Blah, blah, blah. You can just scroll to the right, keep scrolling, and you'll look at pictures. I'm going to pick one of them. And then uh, down here you can see all the comments, and you can make a comment or delete one of yours if you've written one. I'm going to go back out. You've gotten the, the idea here. This is uh, pretty much just like Facebook. It's just you got to figure out how to get around it, I guess. Luckily, there are very little shortcuts I, that I know of in Snap 2. You've got the berries button here, and you've got the trackball, and, uh, and you've got the icon, I mean, the um, options that are in the... Um, get out of here out get out oh yeah by the way be a little you got to be careful with in snap 2 with the trackball uh, every time you you scroll that trackball and you scroll it it each little scroll each little click that you feel there is a is a uh, direction that is sent that the that the if I can talk today the blackberry senses every little click from the trackball and snap 2 considers that to be a move up or move down. So if I scroll this this trackball all the way down, then it will scroll and scroll and scroll forever because I've I've actually put in a lot of a lot of little um, directions or inputs to it. Anyway, let's see. I'm about out of time here. Oh, uh, let me s update my my status. <clears throat> still oops still videoing take 11 one of these days I'll get it right hit the trackball, hit done hit update And uh, I can go to, uh, I'm not going to go to my profile, let me see, refresh, yep, there we go, uh, it shows my, my update there, and I got about 40 seconds left, I'm going to have to make this into another series of videos just to show you all of the little features on Snap2 alone, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have another application or two I need to show you because uh, you're going to need to know how to use real-time chat also on Facebook. We don't have it on Snap too, so I have another application that has real-time chat for all kinds of other um, chat services like Google Talk and Yahoo Messenger and AIM and Facebook and MySpace and Windows Live Messenger, if I didn't say that already. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.